okay so this is the final final episode uh thanks for everyone who's stayed stayed with it we're going to show you um what well, i'm going to show you some uh fairly standard painting techniques when it comes to crafting like the kind of dry brushed wood here you usually start with a darker brown and then dry brush with a lighter brown um, i'll show you how i got that cool dirt texture and the kind of wash that i've done on here and the lighter wood, it, it turned out really light, so what I ended up doing was, I think you can see that, what I ended up doing was dry brushing it and then going over it with a, with a wash to just bring the tone down a little bit. Um, and then I'll show you how I painted this. This is super easy to paint, but just turned out really well, especially the, the spikes on top with just a little, little bit of a wash. The, so yeah. This is going to be um, one of the quicker videos and then the other thing I'm going to show you once we've done the painting is just the flocking I did which is super easy so yeah let's go okay so the first thing I do is I cover the whole piece in black with a little bit of PVA glue in there just to reinforce everything and the way I made the base is with a thin sheet of MDF with some sand and small stones PVA onto it. And there it is. So just painted the whole thing black. It did take a little while because some of the details are a little bit fiddly, but getting a good base coat makes it go a lot quicker. Okay, so these are the colours I'm using. I'm using two light brown colours just to give a bit of variation. Uh, sort of light cream color and then that dark sort of reddy color and that's mainly going to be for the roof and the oak beams So you can see I've just basically layered on color onto the main pieces The floor's got a light brown the planks have got a light brown the main beams have got that real dark brown And then the roof has got that reddy color and then we move over to some dry brushing So I dry brush all the beams with a light brown and you can see it just picks out that that really nice kind of texture in the balsa and then we move over to the base where we use the cream color to do a dry brush and I use that cream color again on all the rope because it just it looks really nice turned out really well and then there's that red on the roof which really helps it kind of jump out a bit from the beams especially and then again using that cream color fill in all the rope texture on the roof so there it is um, one thing you'll notice is the walls on the hut I added a light red color and then I used an agrax earth shade over most of the timbers the planks and the hut itself just to kind of muddy it up a little and it turned out really well really pleased with it the other thing I did is I added some of the kind of grass tufts and some sandy looking flock to the base and some of the planks okay so that's the final video in the series and uh, basically we learned how to do some really cool techniques learned some painting techniques and um, how to flock and you don't need to go crazy with stuff but just a little bit adds quite a nice level of detail especially on the base where you can see there's just that extra sort of detail to it with the rocks and the um, flock and the, the little grass tufts it just makes it feel less flat and more like a piece of terrain which yeah it turned out awesome so I'm really pleased with it um, yeah I hope you liked it and don't forget to um, comment below on any other kind of video game or any kind of craft related tutorials you'd like to see I'm always up for, for building quite a few different things, so let me know. Thanks for watching, hope you liked, liked the video, and don't forget to, you know, actually like and subscribe to the video because that helps a lot. So, cheers. Thank you.